The first bridge ever used by humans may have been a tree that had fallen across a small river to form a simple crossing. We will never really know if this was the first bridge, but simple bridges like this have been keeping people's feet dry for a very long time. The simple idea of a tree trunk falling across a river translates into the idea of a beam, and from that to a beam bridge. Let's explore that. A beam bridge is held up by piers. These are very strong supports. The part that people or vehicles cross is called the deck. We're going to use a beam to make the deck of our bridge. The gap between the piers is called the span of the bridge. If you join up a lot of beam bridges, you make a special type of very long winding bridge that's called a viaduct. If you were an architect or an engineer, you'd use steel or reinforced concrete for making bridges, but today we'll be using paper. For this activity, you will need a nice clear space to work. You should use a cutting mat to protect any tables if using sharp tools. You will need scissors, a ruler, some glue or sticky tape or a glue stick if you have one, some sheets of paper, A4 printer paper is ideal, around 20 centimetres wide and 30 centimetres long, and to test the strength of your bridge you'll also need the plastic top of a cola or water bottle and some rice. Would you call a sheet of paper strong? Try and stand a piece of paper on its end. Can it stand up? Now make a single fold down the middle. Fold it to 90 degrees, a right angle. It should look like a capital letter L. Now try and stand it on its end again. Did it stand up? You can fold other shapes too. Round, square, triangle. You would call these sections and you can use them as the beams or support piers for your paper bridge. Try rolling or folding paper to make some different sections. Which are stronger? So here is your challenge. Use no more than two sheets of paper to make a beam bridge. You can combine lots of section shapes to find the best combination. It will need two piers and the span between them should be 20 centimetres. To test your bridge you'll need to fold a paper container. Put it in the middle of your bridge and use the cola or bottle cap to add rice to it until your bridge breaks. Keep a record of the number of caps of rice you used. Each cap will hold around 5 grams of rice. Multiply the number of caps by 5 and that is your score.